I'm here on a uh, Fulbright specialist grant to teach film sound at the Chateau Rustavelli Film and Theater University. And of course, this is an important event for film. Uh, the director of the school, uh, Dato Gianalazzi, uh, invited me and also uh, I was going to come here by myself just to see European films. I started uh, working in films in about 1973, doing documentaries. Uh, my first feature film was Godfather 2. I do the soundtrack, the sound editing, and sound mixing. Uh, I've won four Academy Awards for Best Sound for Apocalypse Now, English Patient, The Right Stuff, and Amadeus. And for the last 10 years, I've been teaching at the University of California, Berkeley, a course on uh, the aesthetics and understanding film soundtracks. Things that are out of the mainstream and away from the influence of Hollywood studios or even the aesthetic influence of mainstream American movies. What used to be called avant-garde. It's important to counter the effects of American cultural imperialism, right, as it, through Hollywood films. Uh, it's important for new talent to try to express themselves so they can make their way into bigger and better films if they want. It's important in the same way that it's important for people to paint or to compose music or to play music or to sing. Just that there is a, uh, a freer form of independent artistic expression. The history of Georgian film goes way back. Uh, it was very highly developed, it was very creative, it was very interesting. Uh, during the Soviet era, Georgia made more films per capita than any other Soviet republic, and they were more highly regarded than any other film. Uh, with the Civil War and the withdrawal of the Soviet Union, essentially the film industry completely collapsed. And uh, this is symbolized more than anything in the building where I teach, which used to be the uh, film of Car Cartuli uh, Studios, Cartuli Filmy Studios, uh, which is a very nice building, used to have great facilities, but now is completely empty. Everything was stripped when the Soviet Union left. So it's a matter of building up a new generation of Georgian filmmakers and uh, giving them the tools to develop their craft and express themselves. I'm convinced that because of Georgia's rich cultural history, uh, visually and uh, musically, that given enough time, we'll see a further resurgence of excellent, uh, world-class Georgian filmmaking.